Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go from a duct tape wallet to an upgraded 3D printed wallet. First off, I want to say the link to this uh, print will be down in the video description. I believe it's Flexion, Flexion Extruder um, off of Thingiverse. It will be linked in the description and I will also have the um, filament that I used, this flexible filament um, that I used. Now I actually printed this wallet twice. I uh, did a time lapse of one of them, the other one I did not. Um, the first one. I printed um, with all the normal settings pretty quickly. It was about 120 millimeters a second. And the second one, I slowed it way down and changed the layer height quite a bit. Um, so this one is very smooth, as you can see. And this one has lots of little bumps. So the reason I ended up printing this one twice, this is the first one that I printed and I removed it from the bed too quickly and I accidentally ripped the bottom of it off, as you can see here. Um, there's kind of the bumps that I was talking about. It wasn't a super good angle earlier, so you see all these little ridges in here. Um, this one is completely smooth, has no ridges on any of that area. It did have a little bit of stringing here along the sides, and like the inside where you actually open it up did stick together a little bit, but I haven't had any problems with that. I've just been able to kind of pop it all open and run my finger back and forth in there. One thing you do want to be careful with with this one and just be aware of, they did add this little centerpiece. If you see the wallet actually opens, if you do see the wallet actually opens further, but there's this little piece in here that you want to actually cut out and they did this as part of the design it prints like this and it wasn't strong enough they were saying um, it kept falling over and having issues printing so you just take a pair of scissors and cut that out all right so you want to take the scissors you can kind of see right where this card slot right here ends just cut right down that be careful not to cut into it otherwise you'll have a notch missing from your card slot you see there, the card slot did have a little bit of stringing as well that we can clean up. You want to cut this other side. Same thing, just line it up with the end of the card slot. Go ahead and pull it off, got a little bit of stringing. We'll go ahead and clean up this stringing here, same thing with just a pair of scissors. The inside didn't print quite as well as the outside. You can see there's a lot of little uh, dots in here. I think that's partly because it prints so closely together. It prints kind of like this, that it's just little stringing pieces. Um, but I bet over time that'll wear down some. And like the, the stringing in here, you can easily just kind of just rub back and forth on. And that starts to come out. I'll do a little bit more cleanup on this and then we'll test it out. All right, here on this middle part, you do want to be very careful because the edge in the back isn't printed completely solid. It's kind of a dotted line to make it fold better. So I'd put most of your pressure on this front part. That's one solid, completed, printed piece.
All right, we got it all separated down to the front. Let's try putting some money in this thing. You have the old duct tape wallet. Uh, you can always fix these up. That's the beauty of a duct tape wallet, but I figured why not in 3D print one. So that works well. I might. I missed the spot. Try that. Oh. Puts in there nicely. Got a Jamba Juice gift card here. Let's see how that works. That doesn't quite fit, but I. Oh, there we go. There was uh, some stringing on the inside that you kind of got to work out. But that works pretty nicely. Um, you can get the money to sit a little further down. There's just a little bit of cleanup work I have to do down here on the inside of the wallet. So the first time I printed this wallet, which is what we have the time lapse of, it took about four hours at 0 0.20 millimeter layer height and at 120 millimeters a second. The second time I printed it, I did 0 0.05 millimeter layer height, and I believe it was like 80 millimeters per second, and that one took almost 15 hours, and this was printed on my Dremel Idea Builder with an upgraded nozzle. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video on how to 3D print a wallet. Figured that was kind of a cool one to do. I will have links to the model, as well as the filament down in the video description below. If you haven't already, please like the channel, hit the bell button, you'll be notified whenever I put out a video. Subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.